Before moving into the college dorms, I made a video on minimalism and trying to declutter my life, the items that I have, and just taking inventory of just all of the stuff that I've acquired. And although I haven't mastered the art of minimalism, I've in fact kind of gone towards a more lazier lifestyle, I myself want to kind of go back to the priorities, what's important in life, and ultimately the motivation for minimalism. But in doing so, I also wanted to uh, invite my girlfriend, Mari, Hi. on the channel to do an episode of decluttering and taking a look at her closet, uh, her bedroom, just some of the items that she has acquired because I wouldn't call you a maximalist, uh, you know, uh, as, as far as going on the opposite end of the <laughs> spectrum, but how, how would you say your lifestyle compares to like a minimalist? I mean, considering that it only took us like a couple hours to move, like all my stuff here. I feel like I don't have a ton of stuff. I do have a ton of clothes though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Mari recently moved into a new home uh, within the past six months, no. It was November last year. Okay, yeah, in November she, she made a move. It was a fairly simple move because like she said, she doesn't have a ton of stuff. So we're at a good starting point. We're just gonna take kind of a overall look at the things that she's got, what are important, what things that um, can maybe be donated to go to help other people who might want them or use them more than she does. Um, and what are the things that, you know, maybe she's on the fence about. So we're gonna diagnose this situation and get started. It doesn't really look like there's a lot of clothes in my closet right now, but I have two plastic bins down here full of clothes. What do you want to start first with? Um, the stuff in the laundry basket, probably. So basically, just to simplify things, we're going to start by having kind of like three main piles, and you can put them on your bed or on the ground, whatever, of like, keep. keep. Absolutely. You've used it within the past... Um, two months. Two months, yeah, you've worn it. Uh, you're on the fence about it. Is the, the next pile, like, I don't know if I should keep or get rid of it. And then the third pile will be, uh, you haven't used it in one, like, two... Mm -hmm. Two months is a good benchmark. Well, what about these? Like, these are slacks. Besides, like, like things that you know you'll need for a job interview or for... I kind of want to get, um, a, uh, like, a suit top that goes on top of these pants so that I can... So we're talking about suit. getting more stuff now. No, no, no. <laughs> like clear everything video. out, poopy. So what pile is this? Keep? Yeah, for sure. Gotcha. So then I'm guessing most of the stuff in the basket will be keep then if you've worn yeah, it. Yeah, because this is one of my... Comfy shirts. It has a palm tree on it. How many like leisure shirts do you need for like just lounging around at home? Because that's what I would call that, right? This is also very nice to wear to school. Look at the logo on the back. It's cool. It's cool. You poopy! I like it. No, you don't. Don't um, lie to me. I'm not a big fan of like the. These are mine. Sh shirts, but and I really like if you them. like them, that's the point of keeping them. These are capris, and they're very nice in the summer. So, so far, there's only one pile, huh? <laughs> I told you, all these are going to be keeps. This, too, I like the shirt. These ones we can do away with. Okay. So, these ones kind of annoy me. Ooh, our first giveaway pile. It's kind of cute. Well, that's not the criteria. <gasps> okay, so this is our pile for getting rid of stuff. Very mountainous. Uh, very proud. And then this is the keep pile, including stuff here, some stuff there, and then all the stuff still in the closet. So Which there's not a lot of stuff in my closet. Mm. So one thing we're going to be mindful of and remember is that decluttering is not a one and done kind of solution to your messy lives and your lifestyle. It's something you have to keep coming back to, keep revisiting. And so this is a great start um, when it comes to kind of just whittling down the amount of stuff in Mari's life and in her living space. And I'm really proud of her for doing it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, go to Goodwill, dump off some of these clothes, but also keep in mind that, you know, even in the future, we're gonna keep revisiting this idea uh, and for myself as well, not just Mari, uh, of decluttering and um, making sure that you're intentional about every piece that you own. All right, so we got the bag in the back and we are ready to drop off the clothes here at the Goodwill. What are your, what are your thoughts on minimalism, just in general? It's very 
very minimalist. <laughs> Yay!